Hey, what is going on every time for TomScolder.com? Uh, doing this video today, a uh, little little fun one for y'all. Uh, it is a $30 coin grab bag that I got from my LCS. I gave them a call uh, at lunchtime and told them I'd be there sometime before before, before they closed. Uh, so they were able to throw something together for me pretty quick. And if you have a local coin store, I strongly suggest you do this. Um, one, it gets you um, a good feel for how your coin store is going to treat you. Uh, this coin store, I've been dealing with them for five years, and and uh, they're they're fantastic. Um, I trust them wholeheartedly. I'll say, make me a fifty dollar coin grab bag like you did, and I got a, you know, I think I got a hundred eighty percent ROI. I said, make me a twenty five dollar coin grab bag. And the saving grace of 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 coin grab bags is that it's exciting. Like you go to the eBay's and you get yourself the eBay's. <laughs> if you go to eBay and you buy yourself a coin grab bag, you really are probably going to lose money. Uh, Silver Picker actually has a great, great, great video about why coin dealers should be able to give you a coin grab bag and you actually recover the value that you uh, paid for versus them making a whole lot of money and giving you much less value than what you actually paid for it. Um, because coin dealers buy in bulk um, and a lot of times they buy some stuff, they get some stuff that they're not going to sell or they sit on forever. When something just sits around, Sure, you don't lose anything on it, but you're not making anything on it either. And I think um, just like in what I do with the gold pay dirt, um, you want you want transactions. You need transactions. You got to move that money uh, because if I sit on gold right now, like yesterday, or it's down a hundred bucks, that's not good. So I need to be moving it as quick as I get it. I got to move it. Uh, and I think the same goes for coin dealers, silver and gold. You know, bullion. Same. Hint, hint. Bullion is in this video. Uh, I got some bullion in this grab bag. Um, I only know that because, well. I put it in this bag to not see what else is in it, but I did see, I saw a gold bar. So with that, I'm gonna get you flipped around, we're gonna get this thing dumped down. We're gonna see just how much value we, re we recover for a $30 investment. All right, so there it is. I paid 30 bucks for it, sight unseen. Walked into the coin store. They always hand them out in a clear bag. Uh, and then I put it in this when I got home, just so we add to the suspense. Um, I do know some of the things that are in it. I didn't get a great look at it because I really didn't want to see what's in it. And I'm going to try to work with them to see if they can't give me something in a bag that I can't see through. Uh, but then again, um, it, the only reason is because I want, to, I want to be just as excited as you are when you see it for the first time. And right off the gate, is that silver? I don't, I can't imagine they could have put that in there because this is only $30 grab bag. So that's got to be the clad version, but that's still super awesome. Uh, King of Battle Artillery uh, should be what's on the obverse of that. Uh, the reverse. I think it would be the reverse. Drummer Boy on the front should be what we got on the back. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Preserving the Past. What is it? It is Enriching Our Future preser by Preserving Our Past. And as I said, there's the gold bar. I know that's what's in there because I got one. I think I got one from Miller Prospecting. They're pretty cool. Uh, I see a large scent. That is that's a really nice large scent a coin ring if that's my size that's pretty cool uh it looks copper though i don't think it's silver that's definitely silver i would suspect suspect and there's okay so let's just dump it out now i'm now i'm excited because i see that large scent um what i saw at the coin store was the coin ring obviously i saw this gold bar and i saw this now i didn't know if that was silver or not but now that i look at it it's definitely not silver it's clad but uh we have a 1600 year old roman coin as per the usual with these coin bags from buckeye gold which is awesome because it's something seriously unique that you can't get everywhere oh, that's there we go those are diamonds those are what they call milli diamonds they're usually um offset um or or um you know used to add pizzazz to an already like a uh, engagement ring or something like that or uh you see them in a lot of wedding bands they'll be wrapped around a wedding band. Uh, these generally are a buck a point. I haven't done a lot of buying and selling in diamonds since I was in Afghanistan in 2012, but I'm gonna guess there's probably three or four dollars, maybe five dollars at the most there in diamonds. Now this I thought was silver, and I don't know if it's not. This is British Empire, 1936, I bet that's nickel, yeah. Six pence, probably nickel, but well, I'll let you know because I'm gonna I'm gonna close out of the ooh, 
that's a, oh, okay. So that's a Great Britain coin ring. It's a little big for me. So if you wear a size 10 and a half, that probably fits you. Let me know in the comments below, especially if you're from Canada, because that's definitely Canadian. Size 10 and a half, 19, no, they don't have the date on it. Unfortunately, that's cool. It's beautiful and you can't even see what, you couldn't even see what I was talking about. It's a Canadian uh, coin ring. Beautiful. And made out of uh, bronze or copper. I don't know what the date is, but it's Canadian. And super cool. So if you were about 10 and a half, 11, that might fit you. Uh, this is what I thought was silver too. This is a 1924. I'm going to guess that's, that's silver. It's probably sterling silver. 50 cent or five cent teams. Something like that. Pretty cool hold coin. I don't know if it was hold intentionally or if somebody drilled a hole in it, but we'll check that out. Uh, sorry for the uh, background. Oh, that's 1863. This is a bronze, I believe. 1863. Let's look that up. Actually, you know what? Um, what? What year is that? Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? If it wasn't, I don't know if that's corrosion or what that could be. Look at all that. That was a pretty nice one. I'm going to have to think that's corrosion or something, but man, that, that's some good detail. I really don't know. It almost looks like, I don't know, that's got some great detail though. I'm going to say it's got corrosion damage or something, but either way, that's probably, <laughs> that probably makes this bag uh, paid for. We'll look at it closer here in a minute. All right, I'm going to flip this off because we're at five minutes and I haven't even told you any values. That's so cool. I didn't even show that, did I? It's a little gold bar. That's going to be the thumbnail right there. No, I'll probably say something like gold bar found in $30 grab bag. We'll see you in just a second when I get all the values figured out. All right. So I went through the book. I went through the sold listings. I've literally been scouring the net to get some of these values nailed down, but uh, I've accomplished that task. And if you can see over here, ignore that. Ignore that for now because I want to go through this stuff real quick for you. First and foremost, obviously, the gold bar. It's actually one of the least valuable things on the table. Actually, it's the third least valuable thing on the table. It's worth about four bucks. Still awesome. It's a gold bar. Who wouldn't like that? Next up, we're going to go to the two least valuable things on the table. The two least valuable things on the table happen to be this, which is not silver. I thought it was, but it's a 1924 coin. I thought for sure it was silver. Uh, but it's a five cent, so it's a nickel. And it's made out of nickel. This is silver, so we did get silver and gold. This is 50% silver, which I thought was nickel, but it ended up being 50% silver. So that's fantastic. Now we've got our diamonds. Our diamonds, I'm going to go ahead and say these are worth 3 to $5. We're going to say $5 just for the sake of uh, rounded numbers. And you'll see I'm very conservative in, uh, in my figures at the end when you see the ROI on this bad boy. Uh, coin ring, it costs money. I mean, they donate the work on these whenever we give them away. Uh, but that work is uh, actually like $30. So I'm going to say this is worth $5, even though I know it would cost more than that to make it. Next, we're going to do the Roman coin. The Roman coin is worth about 5 bucks anywhere you go. They're just, you know, kind of a novelty. Uh, International Numismatic Bureau is not even a real grading company. They just put them in a holder and sell them. Probably honestly cost more for the holder than the coins because there's so many of those coins, but they're super cool because they're super old, 1,600 years old. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. So this one has some damage. It's obviously a damaged coin, but it has a nice strike. This was a very nice struck coin, uh, but it is unfortunate. Like I say, it's got the corrosion damage. Um, and unfortunately, I don't know where this thing was found and pulled up from, but it's almost crystalline corrosion. It's insane. It's very, very sad. But these things still have a pretty decent value. And with the strike on that thing, I'm going to say it's worth 15 bucks. The book says 25, but I don't think that's realistic. So, last but not least, well, second to last but not least, we lost focus. Didn't we? Yeah. When did we lose focus? I don't know. Second to last but not least. Oh, man, we really lost focus. There we go. We're back. All right. Second to last but not least. This really nice old thick penny. That's what I call them, the thick penny. 1863 Indian. That's worth five bucks. Uh, the book says 10. I think it would go under AG. It'd be like AG3, uh, PO. I forget what the poor grades are, but it's somewhere in, in that realm. Last and certainly not least, I saved it for last for a reason. 
this coin, just a 50 cent piece, right? From 1995. With a cannon on the back. Who doesn't like a cannon? Clad, not even silver. Can't be worth much, right? This coin's worth more than the whole kit. <laughs> this coin's so awesome. Uh, you know, if you don't know commemoratives, commemoratives can be extremely valuable because they're produced in low mintage, not meant to go out into general circulation. Less than 200,000 of these were minted. In fact, I think it was less than 120,000 of these were minted. This specific one is the most valuable of this, except for the golds. The gold ones were, were obviously $400. This coin in MS67, according to the Red Book, which is, is pretty accurate, is a $50 coin. Now, me being hyper-conservative in all things I do uh, in, val in evaluating things, um, I put a value of $25. Given that fact, this coin grab bag, which I was, you know, uh, always, I've never been let down by the ones I do for my local coin store or um, Portsmouth Coin Shop. They've all been fantastic. But when I grabbed this thing, I was like, oh man, that's not very much stuff in there. I'm blown away by this. This, this grab bag has the highest ROI of anyone we've done yet. 218% ROI. Because we paid $30 for it. Not only did we get gold, not only did we get silver, but we got a $50 potential coin right here. And this puppy's going to annex. That coin, the, uh, I'm going to get, I'm hoping to get a Morgan silver dollar that's proof like if I can win it. Uh, I got a bonus. Um, a bonus uh, option, I guess, if, if, uh, if I get that coin and it's proof like I'll, I'll send it to, I guess is what I'm saying. It's a bonus option coin. If I get it in the mail uh, for what I'm trying to pay for it, I don't think I'll win it because I'm, I'm cheap and poor. Uh, but if I do win it, I'm going to send it in. And if it comes back, um, it'll be a super cool giveaway for a St. Jude's raffle. That's really the only purpose of me trying to get that Morgan Silver Dollar. But this coin I'm keeping and the Roman coin I'm keeping. And both of them are going to Annex. And I'm just... I'm, ecstatic is ecstatic i don't know how you say it but that is i guess that's that folks <laughs> that's a wrap uh the next video we do is going to be um a 25 dollar dime grab bag so it's it's a 10 dimes for 25 dollars is what i pay for them uh silver market's tanking but i still think that's pretty good value if they're worth two or three bucks a piece uh, hopefully three bucks a piece and we're at least $30, but you never know. Um, so, uh, if you like these coin videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. What kind of video would you like to see related to coins? I am saving up. I mean, once I sell these coins and those dimes, I'm going to be purchasing the $100 grab bag. I can't wait. Uh, I can wait. I have to wait. I have to do things smart, you know, uh, but cause then my wife will tell me I can't buy no more grab bags. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please again, go down, smash that like, comment, do whatever it is to make YouTube like me. And, uh, I'll return the favor because if you want to win this, you got to do all those things so that I can get 200 views on this video. I'm just kidding. I really don't have to get 200 views on this video. But if we get 200 views on this video, that'd be awesome. Other than that, just comment down below and somebody's going to win a gold bar. You're welcome. Gold luck. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.